Yes, 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 your boy Cam Legend. I hope Paul is well with you today. Another beautiful day in the Matrix. Another beautiful day in nature. And today's video is going to be about everything metaphysical. I've taken a little break on here. Every time I'm away from this platform for a period of time, it's because I'm going inwards. It's because I'm catering to others. It's because I'm going through my own trials and tribulations, just like everyone else in this physical reality. But what I do is I gain experience from it. We all do. But I like to look at the data and the information and then I relay it and package it in a way that is digestible for even a three-year-old to understand. And that's something I'm very conscious of is being a master teacher, being a master student, understanding it, understanding it, overstanding it. But understanding is, is the point, it's the reference, it's the zero point that gives me the ability to even give out the information to a point where it can be understood. Some teachers may um, feel the need to learn it, reverberate it, and not really understand it. But sometimes I have to take time away and really understand it and be patient with it, with this complex information, so I can refine it to a point where it's easily digestible. I speak about metaphysical constructs. I speak about the subconscious mind, phenomena, parallel realities. Come on, this is all quote unquote woo woo things, but I demystify it. So the way for me to give that to you to a point where it's demystifying it is through understanding because you have the intuition to know what I'm speaking about. And ultimately, you want to crush your goals. You want to find your purpose in this physical reality. You want to ascend and be a better version of yourself. And the way to do this is through learning the innerversity of yourself, the innerverse. We're hearing a lot about the metaverse and that's all good and fine, but do you know about the universe? Because this is a universe within itself. And when you learn more about your chakras, when you learn more about your bones, your bodies, your throat, your thymus glands, when you know more about these kind of things, I can assure you, you will be more in control of your destiny. Right now, time is speeding up. Months is feeling like weeks. Weeks are feeling like days and hours are just flying by. So with that being said, and with everyone agreeing to that, what are you doing to dialing the things you want in this physical reality? If time is appearing much more faster, that means that things will also manifest faster. So that means if you're dwelling on undesirable things and outcomes, this can also manifest out in this physical reality fast. So you wanna make sure that your mental diet your mental diet, not just the diet you're eating, is in harmony with the things you want in this physical reality. So, you know, there's something that we see happen with our minds. And that can be, you know, something bad happens. You get into an argument, a fight with a family member, a friend, or just a random, for example. This is just an analogy. And in that moment, we could be very amped up, angry, frustrated, rage, and that's all fine in the moment. But what can happen will be like, you know, you go home, it's been a few hours after that situation and it's still on your mind. That shows you that your mind has the ability to still be in certain points and reference points in your life and it can keep you in the past. Instead of looking forward, instead of staying in the now, our mind still likes to attach to certain undesirable outcomes. And that's how you hold grudges. You see, that's a word starting with GR. And any, any word starting with GR is alluding to your heart. 
because that's the green chakra. And what's another word with GR, like I always speak about? Gratitude, grace. You don't want to hold grudges. You don't want to create more division in this reality because the more you do that, the more it sinks and densifies your heart. And I already told you that in order to go into these higher aspects of yourself, these, these, these frequencies, these um, realities that are lighter in consciousness, your heart has to be light. With everything that's going on in this physical reality with mandates and the pandemic and all of that is to put you in that shame vibration. It's to put you in that vibration of um, feeling like a victim, feeling like you can't control your destiny because this all densifies your heart. And we're seeing a lot of people having heart conditions. It's not just about what's going on with what they're going, what's going on. Ultimately, it's because your heart chakra is densified because you know you're doing things that are going against your inner soul. You see, your heart is the primordial, or should I say your heart is the, the medium between your primordial self and your higher self. That's why it's a six point star. If you've seen the heart chakra symbol, so you have to balance your lower desires and understand that you have lower desires such as money, uh, food, shelter. You know that. That's your lower self. And you shouldn't demonize it. But you have to allow the energy to ascend. That's what 5D consciousness is about. It's knowing that, yes... I trust the universe and I wake up and I'm safe. My rent's paid. There's food in the house. I'm grateful. That's where you want to be getting to. It's the smaller things in life that are actually going to open up the portal for bigger things in your reality. So you have to be mindful of that. You see, another word we see is greed. And that's another word beginning with GR. And this is coming from a place where maybe someone had a lot of lack in their life and now they're just ravaging, taking everything because they're scared that they may be in a situation where they don't have it again. And, you know, this is not, this isn't something to demonize again. This is just, I'm just giving this as information and as an example that, yeah, this is coming from a place of scarcity, right? So we need to get out of that vibration. We have to get into wholeness. You really have to get into wholeness. Like I said, the metaverse, all of that, that's all great. I'm not here to demonize it. Ultimately, it's here and it's going to be here to stay because we're talking about companies like Facebook that have billions and trillions of dollars to invest in what they want. But I'm telling you, also know, more, also know more about yourself. Because the metaverse is putting you into another alternate reality that can be accessed through your mind. My dreams have been so vivid lately. I'm seeing things and experiencing things that are making me not even want to wake up. Like, my dreams be so lit. When I wake up, I'm like, damn, I'm back in this 3D density. That's how lit my dreams are. Like I said, I went to the underworld I went on a trip, a shaman journey trip, and it was lit. It was a bit scary, but it was a trip, just like a roller coaster. It's a thrill. So, you know, these are the kind of aspects of yourself you can go into which are equally as lit as the metaverse. Because if you have a lot of shame, guilt, um, division, anger, frustration, and you go into the metaverse with that same frequency, what do you think is going to happen there? We already see the fighting that goes on on social media. We already see the division that goes on on social media. It's just going to be the same thing in the metaverse. And just like how we see with cancel culture, where people um, get tweets pulled up or post Instagram posts pulled up, it's the same thing that's going to happen in the metaverse. You're going to get arrested 
and they're going to say, you know what, you got arrested for fighting and we've looked at your metaverse profile and we see that you like fighting in that, in that realm. <laughs> That's where we're going to right now. With every technology, with every good thing that we're given in life, there has to be a bad, because that's what this third dimensional reality is based upon, polarity. For every good, there has to be bad. But with 5D consciousness and awareness, we understand the wholeness of that. Who speaks about the metaverse holistically? Everyone's talking about the money they can make. Everyone's talking about all these good things but no one's really speaking about the bad that's what i'm here to bring the awareness to is the wisdom of that and like i said you want to be knowing more about yourself or equal amount about yourself as much as you know as these things external it's it's vital it's vital you know you see what we see in this reality What we see in this reality is that it's holographic, which means it's a fractal light. So I'm a son. The guy smiling there with me, he's a son. He's still part of me. He's still an aspect of myself. And when you go on these shaman trips, you feel that, you resonate with that because that is the holistic truth that we're all aspects of ourselves. And when you can get to that frequency to know that you're just looking at yourself, your partner, she or he or whatever, is, a, is a, that's you, you're looking at yourself. When you can get to that awareness, that consciousness, that everybody is a projection a projection of you you can now feel peace and tranquility okay it's really important to understand that because you wouldn't hurt yourself so why would you hurt others i have a lot of compassion for people i made I made certain sacrifices last year that lost me a lot of money. And if I was, if I was to have taken the jab, I would have had those um, opportunities presented to me. And it was only till December of last year that with all the things that I was going through, it had me regretting missing out on these opportunities but I know that I'm not going to take the jab ultimately because I'm, I'm above like I said the primordial state of myself and I have and if you're somebody who's kept true to yourself with everything that's going on you have to understand that it's because you're going to be a new leader because you have integrity and in order to be a leader, you have to go through these certain trials and tribulations and tests. And you're going to have to go through it, but it's based upon your beliefs. And your beliefs are vital because it's, it's to do about your identity and your values. What do you believe in? You see, a lot of people talk about knowing but you still have to have a, a certain belief system before you can even get into knowing which is vital so if you believe that you're sovereign if you believe that you're self-sufficient and that you will provide and you will find a way the universe will make that happen but this has to be a cure, this has to be a core identification of self. You have to really truly believe that. Just like in the Matrix, 
the first one. And Neo didn't know he was the one. So what was happening? He didn't believe he was the one. And he was jumping and he was falling. He was fighting and he was missing. All those kind of things. But when he believed he was the one, that's when everything manifested his way in a desirable way. And that's how things are going to work out for you in this reality. You have to truly believe you're the one. Even when you're down and out. Even when the objective reality we see play out is saying, yeah, you're dumb for not doing this. You're dumb for not doing that. And you're, you're going to lose money because you didn't choose to take the jab. And you're going to lose opportunities because you didn't choose to take the jab. That's fine. Because you're abundant. And there will be another opportunity that will arise for you. And the universe will respect you because you've shown, you've shown to a core level that you identify with certain beliefs and values. This objective reality we see with our eyes, our two eyes, can be very dense. It can really be so daunting looking at things with our eyes because we see, that's what we see. And that's what our subconscious mind is impregnating before we go to sleep. But you really have to believe from a core level, which is your heart, that the trials and tribulations you're going through will be worth it. And you will be rewarded. Trust me, time will show that. We're talking about a, conscious, a consciousness level of about 5% that really know everything that's going on in this reality. 90%, I'll say about 90% don't know this reality, then another 5% do. And, they, and that 5% that know how this reality works, they take advantage on that. And then you have 5% that are trying to wake up this reality. Forget the whole waking up thing. Like I said, we're in a time now where if people don't get it, they don't get it. And then trust me, a lot of people just love their sleep. They don't want to wake up out of this dream because it's too, <laughs> it's too revealing. It's too much to deal with. You're talking about peeling back like an onion, layers of lies that you've been told. Some people don't want to go through that. Some people will never go through that through this physical carnation. They may have to reincarnate over time and time again. And their soul may have to gain more experience in different realms to understand that. That's not your job. Your job is to learn more about yourself, become a conduit, and then have the ability to, to, to share a message with others. And if people resonate with it, that's a bonus. But it's not your job to wake up others. Focus on yourself. That's all I can say is focus on yourself. When you feel the great need to wake up others and do others, that's the ego. And that's just below the heart. That's the solar plexus. See, the solar plexus and the heart are very similar in nature, but different in degrees. And we can be speaking from the heart, but our actions can be coming from the ego. <laughs> you see? And that ego is your personal power. And like I said, we don't demonize the ego. But if you feel like you have to tell everyone, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to wake up, forget all of that. Use all that information for yourself. Level up, glow up. And when people see like, rah, maybe this thing, what this guy's speaking about is really true because his life is lit. And that's how you, how you now gravitate people towards you. You have to be an example. Okay? So, you know, learning more about the self. Learning why you're anxious sometimes, like, through breathing. You can see where all the anxiety is held. Like, I drank a, I drank a, a cup of Coke the other day. 
just like everyone else I'm in the matrix sometimes I have excessive sugar and when I drank this coke I felt highly anxious all, all for no reason and I had to transmute that through breathing and I said hmm this is the inner verse and there's something called the inner um, the sattvic diet which is you know the Ayurvedas the Indians the Hindus and basically to stay in that calm meditative state you have to make sure you're eating a diet that is not going to positively charge you and make you too dense so if you're drinking like coke which has got like additives and all these kind of things of course it's gonna pump you up because it's got caffeine so you're gonna feel like that urge of energy to either do something or think something or even feel anxious in my state and then you also have foods that can make you really dense slow you down make you lazy because all the blood is flowing to your digestive system instead of your brain so the sattvic diet is staying in harmony you see so you really have to be mindful of the foods you're eating and understand okay if you have a if you have a a, a, a cup of coke or sugar or anything that equates to junk food you still have the ability to transmute that based upon meditations and mindfulness okay so yeah i, I will make more videos um i probably will want to speak more about like 5d earth and parallel realities and more things like that because that's where we're going to right now but this one here is just to really get you in the mind state of control your reality crush your goals we're moving in crazy chaotic times and i feel that the only way to dial in everything you want in this reality is through the mind through your thoughts through the mental diet and ultimately your physical diet and stay light stay light-hearted it's vital it's vital to stay light-hearted do not let this physical reality densify you aka slow you down aka have your mind traveling to undesirable things that happen to you forget about them forget grudges any beef you have with your family squash them if you have ops forget about them move in a, in a in a place or a vibration where you don't have to think about them some things don't get squashed that's life ultimately do not let it stay in your consciousness because everything stays there and when it's time to ascend all you have is your memory and this memory will most, will most likely keep you in a vibration or a prism and that prism is a prison and you have to get out of that and that is through wholeness so with that being said i'm about to go peace